Okay, so let's find out what Jim's up to. Hey, Jim. Hey. What are you doing? Repairing the generator on the workman. Repairing the generator on the workman. What happened? The wire went against the chassis inside the generator and uh, caused it to constantly charge at 18 volts, which is going to burn up my battery. So I figured it out, and now I'm going to put it back together. Oh, that's good. Uh, for you guys that don't know what a workman is, a workman is our cart that we use daily, all day long basically, to not only feed the horses but to go ahead and bring supplies back and forth because we're so spread out here and it would be impossible without a workman. So this little thing right here is our lifesaver. <laughs> so is that going to cost a lot? Is it going to cost anything but time? Oh, that's good. That's always a good thing to know it won't cost anything but time. Okay, so I'm going to go get Warrior out for a little bit. Is it all right if I put him in the round pen? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, good luck. Yell at me if you need me. Thanks. Okay, so I'm going to go get Warrior now. Warrior! Ready to get out? Bet you're ready. It's been a while. There's all the rain. And the snow we've had, it's been a while since you were able to get out. Stretch your legs, big boy. Big boy, it's been a while. Let me put this over here. Here we go. Gotta pick up your blankie. Okay, let's get out. Take a little walk. Oh boy. Whoa! <laughs> Did you get scared? Did you get scared, warrior? Come on. Let's go for a little walk. It's been a while since you were out in the round pan. Round pan's kind of messy. guys for joining us on Warrior Wednesday and while we're sitting here um, enjoying Warrior um, being Warrior in the round pen since he hasn't been able to get out for a while he's really full of energy and so much love <laughs> but I just want to take some time and um, let you guys know about what's going on 
uh, we completely got our website redesigned and we ask that you guys all go and take a look at it. It is pretty detailed information. There's a ways there are available horses for adoption. There's also an adoption form now on our website. So all you have to do is click on it, fill it out, it gets right to me, and then we can look at it right away. Hey you, mister, what are you doing? Don't you bite me now. <laughs> so funny little warrior. And um, there's also a lot of other things involved there. There's a, a nice picture gallery of current pictures and there's even a blog page. So the blog page is something I'm really proud about. Here, you want to say hello to everybody? I know. Say, hello, warrior. Hello. Um, my blog page is something I'm going to be doing once a week. I'll put out a blog every week and that blog will pertain to certain subjects. And this week's subject, the very first one on my website, is all about the Slaughter Pipeline. So I thought you guys might be interested in reading about the Slaughter Pipeline. <laughs> You're a clown. I'm trying to talk. You're a clown. I'm trying to talk. <laughs> He's so funny. I swear. You're my, you're my boy, aren't you? Are you my baby? You're my baby. I'm such a clown. <laughs> okay, warrior, that's enough now. <clears throat> so... I'm going to have to move. <laughs> He's like, oh, well, I'll get you one way or another. <laughs> Look at him. He's so funny. Okay, so our blog is something that's uh, very important to me. And um, I put out an article, a blog about the Salada Pipeline, which I hope that you guys will enjoy um, reading. And then next week's blog is going to be about kill pens and the truth about a kill pen. Um, so if you're interested in finding out about certain things, please feel free to read our blog. And um, on that website, there's a marquee that goes across the website that says, click here to help save horses from the slaughter pipeline. And that is where you can click and donate really fast without having to go through any other kind of links so that when we're at auction or even before we go to auction, you can go ahead and donate for it to help save lives. We are going to the Slaughter Pipeline auction on Saturday. Excuse me, he's being a little tight. <laughs> I'm gonna have to move if you don't stop it. I'm gonna have to move if you don't stop it. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing. It's not a laughing matter, but it, he is funny. <laughs> Uh, we are going to be going to auction on March 11th and we have enough right now from a very generous donor that's going to meet us down there and she's going to rescue one life from auction and we have enough to rescue uh, almost a second one. So we're $400 short to rescuing a second life. Now we have to travel over 650 miles to go to this auction and it does take us quite a while to get there. Um, and it does take us quite a long time to gather the horses up the next day and be able to bring them home to safety. So we would really appreciate it if we could get up a donation to at least rescue five. Um, our goal has always been to rescue ten, but we will be happy if we can get up the donations to rescue five. Now, we are actually um, going to two auctions this time around and that's two auctions and the reason why is because we are desperately needed at both auctions. So I will personally be getting up at two o'clock in the morning. I will be driving down to Tucson uh, area and uh, delivering Molly to her new home and then we're going to head over to an auction and that auction probably won't get over till about five o'clock. And then I'm going to zoom over to the hotel and at seven o'clock online is our other auction that we go to and we'll be bidding online there. So and that usually goes until about midnight. So needless to say, I'm gonna be up almost 24 hours. <laughs> and, but that's okay because I'll do anything I can to be able to save lives. So if you guys can please donate as much as you possibly can. No biting. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> um, we would appreciate it so very, very much because 
we can't save these lives without you. We just can't. And we are asking that you please donate as much as you can. It's a touch and go situation for everybody right now. We understand that. Um, things are tough in this world and in this economy, but the horses are there and they don't know anything about the economy. And guess what? The kill buyer is going to be there too. Absolutely. He will be there. And he always, always, always makes my prices go way up high. And then he sits there and laughs, ha ha ha, because she's out of funds. And now he goes ahead and he gets the rest of the horses to fill his truck for you like $300. And he makes me pay $1,000 up to rescue a horse. And he does it on purpose. You'll notice that the auctioneer will keep on going on, stuck on my number, stuck on my number, stuck on my number. And then all of a sudden, it'll just when I think that they're going to go ahead and let me rescue that horse for, you know, $800. He somehow magically gets somebody else to bid into the audience and then the kill bar raises his hand again and it's a big thing between the two of us. And I usually have to stop at 1500. That's what I have to stop at and it kills me, but I can only do what I can do. So I would really appreciate it if you go ahead and donate as much as you possibly can for us to be able to save as many horses as we can this go around. Another thing that's going to be happening is in April, I have started a podcast. So I'm going to be starting up a podcast where I can interview people on certain subjects and certain things. So if anybody wants to have uh, any kind of ideas, please go ahead and email me your ideas. Um, I think the first thing we're going to be doing is a podcast on our equine chiropractor, uh, equine chiropractor, um, and she also um, has some great products that she uses on horses, and so we would like to be able to let you know about her products and her abilities as an equine chiropractor, and I think we're going to sit down and talk about everything, what it takes, and how important it is to get your horses adjusted and why a lot of these horses are in the slaughter pipeline it's it's amazing um one of them can be chiropractic work another one can be teeth the other one can be feet it's amazing it's the simple little things that you can do as an owner to be able to rule out any kind of and Another thing that's happening is that we're going to add to our YouTube channel and we're going to add to our YouTube channel and it's going to be called Horse Rescue Warrior. Of course, after Warrior. <laughs> and we're going to be doing monthly segments on that um, and that you can go ahead and see. So the first month will be uh, all about some of our big rescues that we did in 2022. So we invite you to watch that and then come April, uh, well, I'm sorry, then come May, you're going to be able to see all our rescues that we did for the month before. We won't be able to film the whole entire thing while we are doing lives um, and show you at the same time. So what we're going to do is that my husband and my son, David, are going to go around and film while Brandy and I do lives on Facebook and Instagram for you. And then we're going to put it all together as a monthly video of the rescues, how they were rescued, and what it took for them to get home to safety. So we really appreciate you watching us today on Warrior Wednesday. And any questions you want to ask me about our website, any suggestions you want for podcasts, um, please go ahead and feel free to email me. We also have a subscribe button on our, YouTube, on our website now, and you can go ahead and subscribe to um, monthly emails that I'll be sending out for you. So thank you again for watching, and happy Warrior Wednesday.